Hi everyone, I'm Maddie. I'm Allison. And I'm Jane. And, and we're, we're from, from the Outdoor, Outdoor Girls. Girls. Today we'll be leaving our home in Juneau, Alaska and ferrying up the Marine Highway. We'll be driving over a thousand miles and cutting down a lot of trees. We'll be dip netting in the Copper River, exploring an old mine, and stopping in a town called Chicken. And, and we're bringing you along for the ride! <laughs> Bling, 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 bling. <laughs> yeah, here we are in the car, waiting to get on the ferry, sitting in line here. That got Gus out to do his business before we stick him in the car for five hours to for the ferry ride. Parked the truck and camper on the on the ferry. Yeah, we're What are you eating there? Cinnamon. Oh wow, that looks really good. Big mama's cinnamon. All right, we're getting off the ferry. Watch out, Haynes! Here we come. Well, we started on the Rapinski Trail. Probably the most well-known trail in Haines. Takes you up to a good overlook of the city and the ocean. Hopefully we make it to that point and we can show you all what it looks like from up there. There you go, there's a good resting spot. This is one crazy looking tree. Ow. I've been in hell. Where are we guys? No, we're at the Haynes Viewing Cliffs, I think is what it is. Overlook? Called. Overlook? Yeah. We're in Haynes. And there is Haynes, Alaska. Is it like slightly foggy? And where we came from, I Juno so. is that way. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling really hungry right now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks mom, these Uncrustables are so good. These are salmon berries named after the one of the two most popular fishes in Alaska that are fished for. How do they taste? They're pretty tart, but it's very similar to raspberries. <laughs> okay, do they pretty? Okay. Conquered the Cliff Overlook Trail. That was so cool. Made it Oh, there's a smaller one. You want to see the biggest bunny? Oh. Like it's... 
Teriyaki bowl. And this is some sort of uh, Indian oh. earring. Well, well that's like you. <laughs> yeah. You know, we just left the Southeast State Fair after watching some musical entertainment, and we've made it to base camp, which is the parking lot of our church. And we're going to get the pop up camper popped up and bed situated so we can get ready to go to bed because boy we're, we're real tired and exhausted from the day of travel and and uh, festivities at the fair so got all the gear out of our cargo boxes and kids are settling in to their beds for the night in the four-wheel camper how was the day today, guys? Was that fun? Yeah. Good. What was your favorite part? The fair. I liked the view. Good morning. We're tired from waking up early yesterday, and we're ready to eat breakfast and hit the road. So, what you having for breakfast? Another cinnamon roll. They are so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to hit the road. Oh yeah. Watch out Tokyo we come. Okay, here's our car situation. This we got is Maddie. Maddie right here on this side, Jane in the middle, me over here, and Gus down at our feet. Good boy. Rentals are up front, driving and navigating. Alright, we just passed the Canadian border. We're in Canada now and we have about six more hours till we get to Toke. Yeah. We've been about two hours on the road. This is one of our favorite stops. Beautiful lake. Uh, there's a great loop trail called the Cottonwood Trail that starts here and goes around. Goes around the backside of this mountain and all the way around and it's about 50 miles or so of backpacking. It's a good trail. He's nervous. Guys, Alaska. yeah, that's the uh, the must stop at destination in Tok, Alaska. And we started off with a little salad bar, and we've got some uh, steak coming, burger, some nugs, and uh, just lots of salad for Maddie. Oh, yeah. And then go like, with your thumb, and go like that. Boom. Ah, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Doesn't want to leave his people. Come on, you weirdo. Okay, fine. Good morning everybody. Here we are at the sourdough campgrounds and we're all waiting for our sourdough or buttermilk or blueberry yeah. cakes. I just see. Yep. Better than last night, but it was cold. It got pretty chilly. Yeah. Ask mom. It's the coldest I've ever been. Oh boy. It's like <laughs> it was really cold. How about in the truck, Jane? 
Everyone was cold. All right. Except for Gus. Gus was warm. Well, it's Sunday. We tried to go to church, but we couldn't find where it was in Toke. Everyone's in there for Sunday best. And uh, we wandered around trying to find the building, but no luck. So uh, we're having church in the car. Stopping at an overlook. We're going to go check out Mount Blackburn, I think it is. We'll see. Eroded. Road just kind of fell down into the water there. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Now you ready? Long time. Really but I had some fun dirt. All right, we made it to McCarthy. We just pulled the truck up to the camp camping area over there. We haven't picked out a campsite yet, but it's going to be up there by the glacier, way up there by a lake. Now we're crossing this bridge because you can't drive to McCarthy. We'll take a shuttle into town. Where we'll grab some food and take a tour of the mine. Just killing time waiting for our shuttle to go to the mine. Pretty cool cars here, Fords. Mine way up there, the mill rather. Yeah, let it look on those wires, keeping that one up. <laughs> today. How many fish are we going to catch, Maddie? At least one. That's right. Sleeping first night was the best. Second night was the worst. Tonight, in between, but still really bad. I don't know. 
What are you guys having for your yummy breakfast? Fruity Cheerios, my favorite cereal ever. So, as you guys can probably see, my eye has been swelling a little bit and it's kind of gross. But I just haven't been waking up like this in the past couple of days of the road trip. Don't know necessarily why, but. Everything's ready to go. We're gonna take a bumpy ride back to Chitna. We double checked everything this time because yesterday we left camp with the latches undone on the camper and uh, hit 60 miles an hour and the camper popped up. So uh, that hopefully is the last time that happens. But uh, yeah, hopefully it's incident free from here on out. Yeah. Catch fish. Your breath, Gus? No. Long one, guys. Here we are, all fitted, got our life jackets on, we're ready to go dip netting. There's our boat right there, we're going to be on there for the next four hours. You guys so excited and so ready? Oh yeah, we're pumped. Okay guys, hey, what do you think? You ready to go fishing? Yes, we are. Alright, this is our... This is our vessel we're cruising in. Pretty sleek. They were telling us that they don't use jet jet outboards. They use a, a propped outboard because it doesn't scare the fish as much as a jet. So I found that interesting. Um, but they did really well this morning. So hopefully that continues this afternoon. Okay, guys, here we are. We're getting ready. They're setting up our fish nets we're right now. Catch some fishies. Alright, let's go. Dan Jane. Hi. Gonna be alright. So that is all of our big fish bed. Way to go! Less than an hour? 65 fish in less than 47 minutes. Just walking. Dog walking. Dog dog walking and dock walking. Hi puppy. Well we're waiting for a table. The fat mermaid. You know, it's interesting to be in different port towns in Alaska and see if the predominant boat is fiberglass or aluminum. Right here. 
We're eating a fat mermaid <laughs> with some onion petals. Oh, they're planning, talking about Alaska. Okay, so we're all pretty tired and we're all going to bed, so we'll see you in the morning. Good morning! Here we are in uh, Valdez campsite. We've been woken up by Gus barking and cars hon honking. How'd you sleep in the back seat, Jane? Okay. Okay. Maddie. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it looks like French toast to me. It How about smells you? Smells like. Yeah. French toast. Smells really good. And mama. And we're gonna get some of this on the Ooh, bacon? Mmm, okay. Alright, well this looks like it's gonna be a great breakfast. So it rained last night, so we're having a little bit of a tough time with the fire. But we'll get it started soon so we can cook that bacon. And it'll be delicious. Right, Dad? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> A decent fire going here in the wet weather, and we didn't even use gasoline. So, there. Here's our bacon set up over the fire right here. We're quite excited for this. There's a few pieces of bacon done, and they look delicious. Um, How's it taste? Oh, it's good. Yeah. This bacon really hits the spot. Yeah. It's not pork jowl bacon, but it's thick cut, so yeah. it's really good. It looks really good. Yeah. <laughs> Girls, where are we? Valdez Glacier. Valdez Glacier. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. Can't see too much of it. It's all the way over there, but still pretty cool. Lots of icebergs. What is it, Allison? Hey, that's Ouch! Mm. Twenty thousand year old ice. That's what it is. <laughs> there you go. Guess who's hopeless now? Still you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh yeah, ninja star. Ah. <laughs> All right, Jane. Show us what you got. <laughs> We're at the Valdez Museum. Here's some cool kayaks. kayaks. I like this truck pulling this one. It's pretty cool. I have no idea. What is that? Is it a fire truck? No, the fire truck's right there. I think it's a fire truck too. This is like a mobile Starbucks coffee dispenser. <laughs> Honestly, espresso machine. There we are finishing up the Valdez Museum. Super cool. We got to learn about different oil spills and earthquakes and how they had affected the people in the uh, Prince Edward Sound area. And that was super cool. We're at the Worthington Glacier, a little short trail to check, to check out this glacier that comes almost up to the road. Pretty cool. What happened, Allison? Uh, I just slid on some ice. You slid right there on this slopey stuff? Yep, you see the streaks? It's right there. Is that why your fanny is so yeah. dirty? Okay. A little bit of glacier salt is really good for the skin. Exfoliation? Mm -hmm. There's the black hole that the girls were climbing down into, burrowing into the glacier. It's a little treacherous footing for everyone.
All right, guys, where are you at? Find the fast eddies. After a long day of driving. Because it's a bus, stuff. We had to go to Valdez back to Chitna to get our fish. I had to buy a new cooler because there was so much fish it wouldn't fit in the cooler we brought. So we got two coolers that are too heavy to move in the back of our camper. Somehow we got to get them out so we can sleep in the camper tonight. Oh, Man, yeah. these wings are so good. They really hit the spot. And they're gone. <laughs> Here we are just getting to the property. Getting our tools set up, getting instruction, what we're doing. going on <laughs> so the cardboard wouldn't light so we lit the top and it's on fire <laughs> here we have our salmon and our tinfoil dinner we have some really hot coals right in this fire pit and dad's checking on her right now here we are with our copper river sockeye salmon some instant mashed potatoes Allison, give us a review here. It's very good from, we normally have it you know, from Sweetheart's Creek, and this is a lot oily, -er, and it tastes very good. Yeah. Everyone else enjoying it? It's really good. Burn chicken! It's <laughs> a chicken, right? In the middle of the store. That one, Mom, the dog's name. Chicken. Popular stop. Look at that middle. There's a big historic dredge used for getting gold. Here we are just entering the Yukon. Again. Top of the world highway. 65 miles to 
Dawson City where we'll be spending the night. And then uh, tomorrow we'll make our way to Whitehorse. We gotta take a ferry across the Yukon River now to get to Dawson City. Parked in front of the woolly mammoth. Old Dawson City mining town from back in the gold rush days of 1898. Still got some old historic buildings, pretty cool old-looking place. Got their cannabis though. Bet the miners didn't enjoy much cannabis back in the day, but they got it now. We're at Island Eats. We found ourselves a nice Jamaican restaurant in Dawson City. We're gonna try some Jamaican food. How's that food, Allison? That's good. <laughs> Can you tell me what you're eating? Um, what's it called again? You got some jerk chicken? Yeah, jerk, jerk beef, pork. Uh, pork, and then jerk ch chicken. This is like a plantain. Plantain, yeah. Plantain. There's like potato, banana mixture sort of thing. We're just outside of White Horse um, at a hot springs and Eclipse Hot Springs is what it's called. I'll put a link down in the description. And uh, we're gonna check that out tonight. It's adults only, so the kids are gonna have to unfortunately just hang out and watch movies in the camper. But we got our, our campsite here and we're gonna go check out the um, Yukon Wildlife Refuge first and see if we can see some animals. We're at the Yukon Wildlife Preserve. We're gonna go take a walking tour of some of these animals here. And um, what is that? Elk? What's well, not fluffy? That's caribou. This is elk. No, it's elk. This one's really smooth. This one's elk right here, I think. It's all hollow inside. I do that. <laughs> what do you What do we got here, Maddie? A little baby bull man. A baby bull moose, yeah. He's not very big. His antlers are. Fight! 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 <laughs> How's it going there, caribou? They're calling these guys thin horned sheep. Those horns look anything but thin, They're pretty thick. Good amount of mass on those. Pretty cool though. Awesome. Some more thin horn sheep. Hey yo. Wood bison. <laughs> All right, so kids are on for dinner today. What are you making? Beans grilled cheese. Ooh. I don't know what it's called, but. You using your pie iron? <laughs> I'm getting the edges. Oh, there's the bean juice coming out. Yummers. Oh, what's the verdict? Hot. <laughs> okay, we 
made ourselves a little grilled cheese um, sandwich with some baked beans in there. Got this idea from our friends, the Allens. About to try it for the first time here. It's kind of hot, but. Ooh, yeah. That's good. Got some melted cheese in there and some beans dripping out. Boy. Good morning. I do not want to get out of my sleeping bag right now. It is so cozy in here. But we're here in my horse and we're ready to spend the day here and then to drive down to Scatley. Hot Springs was pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. They don't allow kids, so it's just me and Big Mama in Hot Springs. But uh, it's pretty ritzy. It's been, they fancied it up since the last time we've been here, so. Nordic style. You got all sorts of saunas and steam rooms and four different tubs to soak in and a cold water plunge, Ooh. which was refreshing. You actually did it? Yeah. It was good. Good campsite. Headed into town now. Get our Tim Horton donuts. We're drying out our towels after spending a fun several hours in their multi-sport rec center. Uh, girls spent the whole time in the pool. Big Mama and I did some running on the track and then swam with the girls. Always a special treat when we get to go to a and which is typically when we come to Canada, because we don't have one of these in Juneau. Bunch of teen burgers, some sweet potato fries, and we're trying some uh, some of these frozen a and root beer slushies. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm, really hurts the spot. What was that? <laughs> really hurts the spot. sunset as we get ready to turn in for the night we're just camping out in the parking lot of the church once again this time in Skagway instead of Haynes pop tops up coolers are out these coolers are so heavy by the way because of all the fish we caught we ended up having to buy a second cooler in Valdez because they wouldn't fish wouldn't all fit in the one cooler we brought which is 125 quart cooler plenty big so we bought another 110 quart cooler to put the rest of the fish in, or 105 rather. And so far they're staying cold. We haven't even opened them, but I can check through the uh, drain hole how much water's coming out. Not a lot of water, not a lot of meltage. The ice is staying pretty cold. The fish should be nice and cold and frozen when we get back to Juneau tomorrow. Skagway is a tiny little town, all compact into one little area you can walk pretty much anywhere this is the airport behind me and uh, we're just out for a walk before church and uh, it's big time tourist town all the cruise ships stop here so you got a bunch of little stores and a good portion of the city or town is uh, not here year round they're here only for about five months in the summertime and then they're gone the rest of the year so this place becomes pretty much a ghost town in the winter but big mountains and got glaciers nearby and oceans just right behind me that way gopro stop recording on the ride home Oh my god, that's 
have arrived in Juno. Mechanic is open for uploading. We're finally. Okay, while we're waiting for the ferry to unload, we're at the back of the line, so we got some time to wait. We're gonna see who can guess closest how many miles we went this trip. So uh, everyone go through your guesses. What do you think? Uh, now we first. Uh, 2,187. 20, okay. Jane? Maddie? Uh, Jane, you go first. Um, I think 2,024. 2024, Jane? <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. 2024. <laughs> oh my word, guys. I don't think it's just... Okay, Mom, what do you think? 2,000 and... 2001. I'm gonna go with 2,205. Wait, um, you win, we know you're cheating. Joking. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> let's do 4,000. <laughs> okay, you heard it there. Checking now. 1,950. Oh. We didn't even break 2,000. Mom wins, big mama. <laughs> what is it again? 1,000. Wait, what'd you 950. guess? 950. We just gotta drive 50 but more you, miles. Yeah, we gotta break 2,000, so we're not gonna go straight home. We're gonna go out the road a little bit. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs>